Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to show you more information on working with Cross Stitch in PE Design 11. You'll find Cross Stitch right here under Image. This is a little gecko that's part of the built-in artwork or clip art that's in PE Design 11, so I've created a cross stitch of it. What I want to do is see if I can't create a cross stitch using the text tool. So let's play with that a little bit. I'll take the text tool and what I want to do is choose a block letter. Now I'm going to go on and type this in all caps. So I'll type gecko and I also want to adjust the spacing of it. So on the character spacing, we're just going to increase the character spacing some to give it a little bit of room between those letters and I might even increase the size because remember this is going to be cross stitch and I want it to go with this design. Let me put it over the design and you can see if it's too large or too small. We may make it just a little bit smaller. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the word gecko and, and create artwork by using the snipping tool. I'll open up the snipping tool, and when I open it up, I'll choose new, and I need to use the crosshairs and just drag it across the word gecko. Now, I have another program that likes to open up. You won't have it. I'll choose close, and we'll get it out of the way. I'll choose file, save as, and I'll call this gecko, G-E-C-K-O. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use that so we don't really need the, deck, the gecko cross stitch and we don't need the snipping tool so we'll just close that and we'll choose to remove our text right here and delete that and we'll go to image and go to cross stitch now let's choose color and what we're going to do you can see the geckos here we're going to cancel with that artwork because it sees that artwork from before. So I probably just need to remove all this and choose File New. So we can build it as, as we work on it. So we'll go in and we'll choose the cross stitch color. And now what I want to do is find my clip art. Now it's on my desktop, so I'll go to this PC, to Windows. I have to go to my Users to Terry, and I could set this up as a fast link, but I want you to see how to find it if you can't find it. We'll go to the desktop, and I have a file folder in my desktop, and that is called Artwork, and I'm looking for Gecko, and here it is. We'll choose Open. So now here's my artwork. Now I want to create a clipping mask around this, and I'll just bring it underneath the letters. Let's choose next and let's see what we have. So right now, it look, we want it to be more or less the size. So I'm not going to fit it to the page. I'll leave it as that size and I'll choose next. And you see that it has some problems. And so we may need to make some changes. So let's go back. And let's tell it to fit to the page to make it larger. Let's choose next. And we can make this a smaller stitch out, cross stitch, you get more detail. You notice that I have more detail now. I want the maximum colors to be about two. And the reason I want two is, and we'll choose retry, is I don't want to pick up this solid in the O, so I need to remove it. That looks great. I'll choose next. Here's my, my stitch. And I can choose to have it as a double stitch if I want, or a triple. And I'll choose finish. So now I have my gecko. Let's go back and get the, the other design. I need to import it because I, I had saved it. And I need to import it from wherever I saved it. I think it's in a folder that's one on my hard drive. So I'll go to folder. Here it is right here. And what I'll do is just drag it over. Okay, it may be too large. I'll just resize it. I'll hold down the control key. Remember, this is a stitch file. And now I have created a cross stitch using artwork and then also 
using text. So here's a, a separate example of ways that you can use a cross stitch pattern. Let me give you a couple of other tips. One of the things that happens, and we'll choose file new, and actually let me just say this as Gecko 2 because I like it. Some designs will be a problem, and you will just have to play with those. I happen to know the rocket is a problem. We'll open it up, and I'll take the mask and dra drag it around the edges. Now, I need to actually try to find the rectangle because I want it to be a rectangle around this to create the clipping mask to try to get the the flares of this rocket in the design. And I found that it, it will pick up some things and not others, so you may need to work with it a little bit. Let's choose clipping mask and see what happens. So you see it's going to pick up the rocket, but it's not going to pick up the flares. So what I might do is create this as two designs. Let's just choose OK. We need to remember how we set it up. We'll choose OK. All of this looks good. We'll choose next. And I'm just going to leave this as 2.5 on my length. I'll leave the colors as they are. I'll choose next, and I'll make it a double run. And I'll finish it. Now I'll take this and save this as Rocket Part A. So I'll choose Save As, and I'll type Rocket Part A. All right. So now let's go back and try to create the next part. So we'll choose File New and go back and pick it up another time and just try to get the tail of that rocket. Okay, I'm going to make the clipping mask large enough to pick up some of these flares and choose Clipping Mask. It picked up one of them, so what I'm going to do is get it and duplicate it three times and erase what I don't want. So I don't want any of this right here that it picked up. So I need to draw a line over that. Let's choose Update Preview. And you notice now it picked up the middle one. That's fine. As long as I get one of them, that's what I need. Now I'll choose Next. And here's my design. I'll choose Next. Here it is. It's 2.5. I'll choose Next. And it wants a number of colors. We're going to try three. And we'll go ahead and use a double stitch, double stitch, and we'll finish. So now I have the flare. Now what I can do is I can duplicate this flare, which doesn't look so good, but I can still duplicate it and add it to my rocket, or I can have a single flare. Let's just import the rocket. And here it is. So we'll just import this over here. And now what we can do is we can place the flare wherever we want it with that design. Let me choose undo. And let me just move it in a little bit closer. Let's duplicate the flare by selecting that design. And we just want to select part of it so we get it. And to duplicate it, you can go to Home and Duplicate. And while it's on your clipboard, you can duplicate it again or and add a third flare. So, and you can just move these so that they're pleasing to you. They may not be perfect, and you may need to resize them, but you get the general idea. This is what you would have to do to create that design. I hope this information has been helpful to you. It's always my pleasure to help you. Please join me in Facebook in the group Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire and join the Facebook group PE Design 11. I'm a contributor to that group. Thank you very much.